And then, let's see. Did that one. Did those. And then, okay, I'll go into the black garnet, which is really cool. So here also from Afghanistan, this is your uh, black underdite garnet. These ones happen to be a little bit more in the browner, um, slightly orangey tone. But still, again, working with the root chakra, I just find that these display more of that interesting circuitry energy, that uh, facilitation and movement and expression of energy. These we have uh, a decent amount in the store at the moment. But usually we'll always have a great stock of different varieties of garnet. Because we love it. Another specialty garnet is also from Pakistan. But these are a spessartine etched garnet. Look at that. It's like one big computer chip. And it's amazing to see how finite the crystal structure can be that it ex that it expresses itself in nature. You know, these are growing over millions of years. So the orange garnets or spessartine garnets are working a little bit more in the creative aspects of life. So here's a, a true spessartine, which is that bright, bright orange. Also in the grossular family. They're so cute, little baby gundrops. <laughs> These are definitely a little bit more on the rarer side. We have only a few in the shop. We'll come across them once in a while. Here's a nice big mamma jamma mixed with uh, some smoky quartz. And again, anything uh, growing with quartz, it's going to amplify the effect of the uh, minerals itself. So here, if you're working with creative expression and anything that is, because remember, it's all root chakra related. So even in your sacral of creative expression and combining with your solar plexus, in the action of it, there, this stone will help if there's a connection with the security or the insecurity of it. So if you're insecure about bringing out your expression in a creative way, then spessartine garnets and hessonites will help uh, work that out with you. And these are the hessonites. We have them just in the raw form. They have a nice subtler orangey tone. We have plenty of those. And then we got the little baby uh, Hessonites. These ones are a little bit nicer, a little bit more gemmier. And you have a certain play of light within the stone, which is very interesting. Sometimes we refer to crystals as candy, little nuggets of yumminess. And then, oh, just to, sh to show off, we have a, a few um, funky New York State garnets, the little ones. Here you had the larger ones in Matrix. We only have a, a handful of those. They're not too easy to get. And then we have a handful of these just funky garnets, heavily encrusted with some iron. A very rare type of garnet is your raspberry garnet also called uh, rosolite and what makes the pink color in this one is your manganese but look at this color they're just so pretty and a perfect little just bundle of joy in here again you have that grossular diamond shape these are from mexico 
and the uh, the energy with working with this is definitely heart chakra so anything that is heart and root related any connection with your insecurity of yourself your self-worth um, anything that if you run away from relationships if there's any sort of insecurity or imbalance it around what the heart chakra represents of relationships and connections then you might also be wanting to work with the root as well and so raspberry garden has come in handy for that also excellent for metabolism and cholesterol because of the manganese another rarity is your savorite garnet these are some nice matrix pieces with your mica schist. They're very heavy, nice, dense. They're from Tanzania, which is some putty to hold them in place. Really great price points at uh, $19.99. Very vibrant, very energetic. And sometimes you'll find a little bit of pyrite in there. So they have a little extra iron grounding in there, a little bit of a masculine expression. Uh, heart chakra. I don't know, the feeling of these is like something to do with being ecstatic, like just vibrant and a lot of movement in a very positive direction. First time I held uh, one of these was just like, ooh, ah, like, I don't know. It was just, it's, see, some stones, it's hard to explain what you feel. You just got to feel it for yourself. But yeah, like I was saying, the the some stones you just gotta feel for yourself. But one thing that's important is while you're watching and learning from these um, crystal connection downloads, is when you are really drawn to a stone by the way it looks, the color, and maybe by what is being said about the stones then follow the inspiration because you don't necessarily have to touch and hold the stone to get a feeling about it it's that beginning of the spark of the inspiration and the movement towards it that uh, is important to pay attention to because then if you f if you do feel that and you get you, you call up uh, the store and jewel and you get the live shopping tour and you pick out your stones that you were initially inspired by to uh, start the process then when you get them home most likely you will have a connection with those crystals and last in the garnet family here is a newer one that we had we just got these from uh, Pakistan and this is grossularite so it's just it's in the grossular family, but it's more of a mass form of the garnet in matrix, and uh, they're just the color is beautiful. It's like almost like a lime green. These guys are only six. We have a lot of tumbled, a lot of smaller pieces, but yeah, grossular right, and again root chakra, but it's nice to balance out. With the heart chakra and prosperity and a little bit more to do with uh, money flow and the security and safety or belief systems that you have around money and prosperity and this can help balance that out to be more of a, a productive balanced in harmony um, energy and security around there for you